Sir? 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 You're awake. While you were asleep, I steered us down to South America. It was a cinch with your map and my Wilderness Explorer GPS. Right. Well, it's time for you to go home. We'll get you down, find the bus stop. How long before we land, Mr. Fredrickson? Uh, we're way up here above the clouds. Big hours. It's so beautiful. Mr. Fredrickson! Mr. Fredrickson! Your house! It's floating away! No! My house! It's floating away! Beautiful butterfly species. This is so cool. I can start a brand new collection. One of my pictures. I'm to use my amazing muscles to get up on the flower pots. This ought to be good. Okay, why don't you try it? Wow! But, but how? I know. Pretty amazing, huh? Sometimes I'm not quite sure myself, but hey, just pick up the food and meet me over at the fishing net. to school. Follow me and remember you can speed up by pressing the move button. I will, Dad. And keep trying to swim through all the rings. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Bye. 
I'm Tad. I'm obnoxious. Hello, I'm Sheldon. I'm H2O. <laughs> I'm tolerant. My name's Nemo. I'm going to school. So are we, but we can't find our friend Pearl. We think she got lost in the caves. I'll help you find her. Don't even think about it. It's either school or back home for you. There's a big clam blocking our way. Looks like we'll have to go home. Ah! Oh, you made me ink! Oh, sorry, sorry. Well, um, and Nemo. Tad and Sheldon said you got lost in here. We're gonna be late for school. Do you know the way out? Now I know from my manual that you recruit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But my more uh, okay. You know, basically. The Deus, the Deus. That's actually that's actually the name of Squidward um, in the German version of SpongeBob. Anyway, so this is just the basics. Now, it's one of the shittest games ever. However, where I do give it credit is its actual level um, locations. The level designs average. The controls are complete shit. But the levels themselves, the actual locations, absolutely brilliant. I've played the first four levels. And it is a incredible rendition of the Monsters Inc. universe. Definitely um, ten times better than Scare Island in that regard. But in regards to everything else, that's completely wrong. Look at this, Roz, and she closes the door. <clears throat> that's pretty cool. And there's actually there is quite a lot of attention to detail in these particular levels. Now, if you scare these guys, you have to scare five of them in under thirty seconds. So let's do that now. It's pretty, you know, it's, gameplay is pretty basic, it's, it's as basic as a platformer will get, really. Um, there's not much, there's not many gimmicks or anything. Um, there we go, got it. I'm trying, I'm trying to determine which one's which. No, we go four and five, there we go. Um, and, you know, yeah, okay. Whatever. So, when you collect that, you get like one half of that thing, and the other half I think you get by collecting all the red things, which, by the way, I'm not going to do, only because um, it's just too hard to find them all, and they're just stupidly hidden, um, and it doesn't really need them to beat the game. Um, but yeah, as you can see, this is the change rooms from the movie, and you know, they've made the full thing. I'll actually tell you, I'll spoil it now, they've actually got... Um, Okay, Carl. I fell to a lower level. I just need to find my way out. Ugh. 